Oh, hello. Still hanging out here at the uh, beautiful Cameradine Hotel in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Enjoying a nice, refreshing Pokari sweat. Ooh, which, incidentally, <clears throat> I found it is a very popular Japanese sports drink. And Pokari means of the clouds. So it's supposed to be drinking cloud sweat, I suppose. Not exactly. <clears throat> Can't exactly recommend that one. So anyway, I haven't had a, a new video in a while, so I thought I would give you one. Uh, what's been going on? Okay, so this is the first day of the weekend. It's Friday, which I'm still trying to get used to because that doesn't make any sense. Uh, our work days are Sunday through Thursday. And so today's the first of two weekend days. This is kind of the holy day here, Friday is. Saturday is, oddly enough, kind of like the Saturday in the U.S. It's more of the casual free day. But people don't work on Fridays usually. So, there you go. Uh, the week was interesting. Actually, uh, my first day on the air at Virgin, um, it was tough. Actually, the first hour was kind of a nightmare. I'm still trying to learn this horrible computer automation system called Delet. If you've never used it, I can't recommend that either. It's not good stuff. Um, I missed my first stop set break. I couldn't get the thing to stop. Uh, but after that first hour, believe it or not, I calmed down and I figured some things out and uh, had a pretty decent show. So, uh, you know, after that, things were, things were good the rest of the, uh, the week, actually. And Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Tuesday, Thursday... Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, thank you, uh, were, uh, were particularly good. If you didn't have a chance to listen, please go online. I've got some beautiful pictures up on right now. Uh, the website is now kind of online, but it's very uh, very much in a preliminary state. Uh, VirginRadioDubai.com. Check it out. If you uh, go down and click on Crew, you'll see the whole staff for the most part, at least the air staff. Um, some good people. But uh, they decided to take pictures of me after I've been here about 36 hours. And you can tell by the bags under my eyes. And, uh, whew, not good. So, <clears throat> it, well, it didn't help that they didn't tell me they were going to be taking pictures of the website that day. I just happened to come in, and so I was wearing sort of decent clothes. Anyway, uh, they've promised that they will change the pictures. We'll see. It's not going to take care of that luggage under my eyes. Anyway... Uh, other big news this week, I found an apartment, which is very cool. If you know Revan John, the uh, breakfast host at Virgin Radio Dubai, I'm actually living in his building. Uh, well, I'm not living there yet, obviously. Uh, but I will be, along with Manila, of course. Many of you know my girlfriend Manila will be coming. Uh, and she's going to be, <laughs> she's gonna be a sales manager. Manager. Um, maybe people that are that are good at sales here so badly, they don't apparently know how to sell spot packages. They sell endorsements. It's bizarre. Anyway, she's going to be joining, and uh, the place is amazing. Uh, also amazingly expensive for the year, if you're curious what a decent apartment here costs in a, a beautiful high-rise overlooking the uh, Dubai Marina and the Gulf and nice view of the Burj Al Arab, which is very exciting. It's about 115,000 dirhams, which calculates to about 32,000 or so dollars U.S. a year, which is a little less than $2,700 a month. Ouch. Very expensive. So, fortunately, we'll be cohabitating. That'll make things a bit easier. I'll try to put up some videos of the place as soon as I get them. There's still a whole uh, deal with the loan. You see... If I haven't told you, you have to pay the entirety of your annual rent in Dubai up front. And not too many people can pay $32,000 up front. So what happens is very often the employer will loan you the money up front and then you pay it through your paycheck throughout the year, which is very kind of them, very trusting, but it also leads to a tremendous amount of red tape. So I'm kind of going through that right now. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll be, be in there within... 10 days, since that's all I have left in this hotel. What else is going on? Oh yeah, I'm known as Brent Black on the radio. Maybe you've noticed, maybe you haven't. I've never taken a last name before, and I certainly didn't want to use my real last name, because it just doesn't flow too well. So the PD asked me uh, 
to get a last name just for symmetry because everybody else has one. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Brent Black. That's me. <clears throat> Please keep the emails coming. I'll try to keep doing videos, although I haven't really posted one in a week because I've been working. kind of keeps you busy. Also, getting a driver's license here can be a bear for some people. Fortunately, United States driver's licenses transfer automatically. Uh, you just have to get a paper from the consulate saying your license is an official U.S. driver's license. Then you go take an eye exam and uh, then you go to the driver's place, you show them your license, theoretically, and uh, they make one for you. And you're a licensed Dubai driver. If they knew how we drove in the States, at least in Los Angeles, they probably wouldn't transfer those so easily. If you don't have a, a license that transfers in this country, you have to take about 40 half-hour driving lessons, which takes about a year because they only do them on uh, the weekends. And uh, it costs you somewhere around, I don't know, 40, 50 bucks US each lesson. So it's very expensive for people. It's amazing how many people are actually on the road. I think it's mostly um, Brits and a few Americans. By the way, I have not seen many Americans here. Um, I think I'm up to two in just uh, about two weeks. I've seen two Americans. And uh, I ran into an American girl actually looking at the apartment, who was also looking at an apartment. And I said, you know, I haven't seen many Americans here. And she's like, no, I haven't either. I said, I've seen two in the last two weeks. And she says, hmm, that's funny. You're the fourth one I've seen in two years. So uh, I've asked around, and apparently, hmm, Americans just don't want to come to the Middle East for some reason. Can't imagine why. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, I'm trying to educate. See? It's beautiful in Dubai. Please come. Please come and visit. Beautiful Dubai. All right. Until next time, please keep the uh, well-wishing coming. I promise I'll try to keep the videos going. Bye.